Welcome to the Geo Experience Center, which has been temporarily transformed into a virtual demonstration studio. This is where we'll be showing you the latest capabilities and technologies over the next few days. My name is Madeline Shoren, and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the new Map Viewer. This is the next generation of online mapping that'll help you explore your data quickly and create stunning maps that can be shared across the ArcGIS platform. It's going to launch this fall, but you have access to the new Map Viewer today in ArcGIS Online. So let me show you how to get started as we begin to explore the diversity of our communities. On your organization's homepage, navigate to the App Launcher and select Map Viewer. The Map Viewer was built with an enhanced, more intuitive user interface. Here we can browse familiar base maps, and I'll choose my favorite dark gray canvas to get started. Next, let's pull in a data set of US census tracts that have been enriched with, with ESRI forecasted 2020 population data. Zooming in to Los Angeles, we can begin to explore the diverse communities in the city using new styling options. To start, we'll add in the 2020 Hispanic population attribute. The map automatically updates with a high to low color scheme, but to heighten the visualization, we'll change the theme to above and below, so the data is centered around the average. Next, we can experiment with new color ramps that offer a rich and sophisticated palette to better express the data, quickly trying out different options. And there are also predefined categories of styles, like this one for dark backgrounds, and colorblind friendly options for a more accessible map. Dragging the slider on the histogram changes how the color maps to your data, and we get immediate feedback in the map, highlighting the Hispanic population throughout LA with a light blue. But Los Angeles is actually a majority minority city with people of all backgrounds. So Let's add in additional attributes, including the Asian population, black population, and more. The Map Viewer uses smart mapping to automatically select a predominant drawing style. The color shows the predominant race or ethnicity in the track, and the transparency, transparency shows the strength of the predominance. But the Map Viewer also introduces another way to visualize your data on the fly, dot density. Mapping with this style has never been easier or more beautiful. Here, one dot represents 120 people. But look at how fast and responsive it is. Changing the dot value, neighborhoods start to blend together, and we have a clear map illustrating the rich tapestry of diversity throughout LA. But let's switch gears and travel to my hometown of Philadelphia. Another way you can access the new map viewer is through an existing web map. In the web map's item description, use the drop down arrow and select open in map viewer. In this map of Philadelphia, we have over 140,000 points showing property sales in the city from 2016 to 2020. The points are symbolized by the average sale price. The olive green shows more expensive properties and this lighter turquoise blue indicates a lower sale price. But let's experiment with another way to visualize this data, clustering. Clustering in the new Map Viewer is incredibly simple, just one click. And in the Cluster tab, we have control over constraints like radius and size. And my favorite part about clustering is its integration with new labeling capabilities in the Map Viewer. Here we can change the label attribute to the average sale price and use an arcade expression to make the number more meaningful by adding a dollar sign. We can also play with things like the label font so it can better match the underlying vector base map style. And lastly, we'll use the new filter capability where I can add an expression based on the property type of the unit sold. As I select different filtering options, for example, only showing single family homes, the map quickly updates. This is because the Map Viewer was created with the latest JavaScript API, which allows for faster client-side rendering and analytics. And now this map is ready to be shared. The new Map Viewer is going to take your web maps to the next level. 
And the last thing I want to show you is my absolute favorite new feature, cartographic blending. We'll walk through two quick examples, starting with this bright, colorful vector base map. To better understand the landscape, we'll add in the world hillshade available through the living atlas. If we want to see the terrain on the map, in the past, we'd increase the transparency, struggling to find that right balance, maintaining the color of the map and the terrain. But with new cartographic blending, we can keep the intensity of the map with the terrain shining through, creating a beautiful textured map in seconds. There are so many ways you can take advantage of this new feature. So let me show you another example. Here, we have a group layer with population density showing where people live. And we want to know what these communities do for work. With cartographic blending, we can take this layer showing the predominant industry at the county level and blend it into a map that shows specific characteristics of the people in these communities. This technique puts the emphasis on the people rather than the administrative county boundaries, and we get a completely new view of the data. Here we can see agricultural communities in the Central Valley of California in green. And Las Vegas is an oasis in the desert, lighting up with pink for tourism. Using the new map viewer, we can explore the unique and diverse characteristics of our communities and how they vary across the landscape. These are just a few of the new capabilities that are available for you to explore today in the map viewer. And we can't wait to see what beautiful maps you create.